Hi, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open the long-awaited third printing of High Frontier, the Phil Eklund game by Sierra Madre Games. This was done by uh, uh, One Small Step, uh, took on the Kickstarter back in 2015, uh, funded back in uh, August. It had at the time a expected ship date of um, October 2015, which I thought was kind of ambitious. So, uh, needless to say, it was it was late, and it uh, had some stops and starts along the way. Finally got going, and it is finally here. And it is a beautiful, beautiful package. I've never played this game. I've never played any Phil Eklund game. But I heard such good things about it uh, that I couldn't resist getting on board when the opportunity presented itself. So, uh, it showed up today. It is a uh, heavy, 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 heavy box. I thought I thought uh, old school tactical was heavy. This is this was shipped in a twelve pound box. Uh, it says it's for two to five. The solo suitability is listed as high, is uh, medium to high. Complexity is high. Uh, playing time two to four hours. This is two to five players, but uh, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna find out what's inside this beast here together. But man, it is huge. So. Cut in here. These are kind of a murky day here. Is uh, just got left on the doorstep. Is fortunately it didn't rain too too terribly bad. But so, this is on my doorstep, so I'm good to get it damaged. So here we go. High frontier. Oh my gosh, seems like science games, I mean, this has been out obviously in a while, but science games are all the rage right now with the terraforming Mars and the Earth. Oh my gosh, it's a nice thick, thick box here. Very sturdy, very heavy duty, duty cardboard. So here's what you got inside. Goodness gracious, maybe a wider angle lens for this. All right, let's see what we got. We have the High Frontier Colonization book. It's almost like a magazine, kind of like you get at a uh, sporting event. That quality material, on paper, kind of a glossy cardstock. Uh, volume one, basic and colonization rules here. Pretty large print, it's not too bad. Um, lots of pictures, bunch of component descriptions. Um, so this book, these were all available in PDF when they first came out. So this bad boy clocks in at, or bad girl, don't want to offend, 68. You can always check the front there. Yeah, 68 printed pages. Nice glossy. Paper, beautiful artwork and pictures. Shadow there, sorry about that. Okay, so the first book. Then we got Interstellar. Horrible movie, but this is a book. So this is by the Bibli Third Edition is Volume 2, the Scenarios, Tips, Variants, and for the Interstellar Solitaire mode, which obviously is going to be a high solitaire reading. Uh, this is bad, bad Boy, I almost did it again. This book, I'm going to repeat myself, I'm going to 28 pages, it's not quite as big. Again, beautiful uh, uh, NASA photographs in here. Uh, there has to be pictures in this one. Seems to be well laid out, but again, I know nothing about this game, except for what I've seen other people playing it. So the third book is the reference guide. It was also a pretty bad movie. Um, so this is the overall high frontier reference guide. What we're interested in, the solitaire variants, right at the beginning of that. Uh, Experimental, experimental exomigration and exploration modules. 
Section X, experimental simulation modules, and Section Z, this card descriptions, and then an illustration list. This one is 64 pages, has all the illustrations credited, that's pretty cool, by volume, mass images, more artwork, concept art, Kepler K2 artist concept. Again, this one's a little more dense on the words. Not quite so many pictures. Get my shadow out of the way there. There's some reading involved, apparently. Oh, but wait, there's more. And last, but to be read first, is the High Frontier Training Guide. Read this book first. So here we are. This is the introduction, the walkthrough, and the mission guide. Again, all these are really nice, nice glossy stock. Um, this is 24, 24 pages. And I'm going to give you an example of gameplay. All right, so, so far we've got four manuals. We count them all as, as manuals. Pretty neat. Then we've got boards. This is a player board. This is the solar system chart. Let's see if we can get a, get a zoom in on this here. Heavy, thick cardstock. Very nice. And then we've got player boards. It appears to be player boards. There's two to five players, so we have five player boards. They're all identical. Uh, wow, man. I feel over my head already looking at this thing. But again, nice. Very, very heavy. Heavy card stock, heavy duty stuff going on here. There's five boards, that's the thickness of the five boards. And then we've got the game board looks like. Goodness gracious, let's pull this beast out. I know at one point there was talk of, there's one board, there was talk of doing a single board, like on a map, that people could print out, which I don't know that ever transpired. These are huge. I mean, this is a thick, thick board. This is six panels of the board, and it is just shy of an inch thick, maybe seven-eighths of an inch. And we got two of those to play on. And then we've got... Components. So we've got some cards. Got some clear discs. Like Tilly Winks, kind of. Plastic. Which is kind of cool because if they lay on the board, then you can still see through them. Let's see what you get there. Okay. Those are pretty cool. They um, were used to play Tiddlymix. Flick the, flick the tokens to the ball. And then we've got four dice. Tiny dice. Got all this whole beautiful game. Everything's kind of large scale. And you get like little tiny dice. There's two black, two red. So we've got the turquoise Tiddlymix. And we've got some marker beads. These are uh, also turquoise. These are a lot thicker. Kind of like what we used to use for CCGs to mark clues on units. And we've got some cheeks. These are opaque in various colors. And some more markers. Red. The turquoise and red. The yellow, 
And we've got some rings. And these are in five colors, so I assume these are related to the player colors. You've got red and green and purple and gold and white. Right there. Some very nice, very thick, sturdy plastic. And then we've got some black discs, also opaque. Some kind. So then these obviously are player related, given that they cut and they match the color of the two to five player markers. Alright, so we got some wooden items. Markers. It's looking well. Always tasty. Alright, so we got some blue and yellow and black. Little drum looking cylinders. Oh, those pieces. And then we've got, we've got red, green, orange, and purple cubes. But not the white one. That looks like the white one maybe mixed in there for the white player. So, uh, we've got these little buttons. Also in the player colors. Now these are the colored ones, except for yellow. So these may mean something else because I'm not seeing. No, oh, there's not a yellow player. Sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, we got we got four colors here. They're neat little like, flattened discs, flattened little domes. Okay, so those are the ones that are colored, and then the white ones are in here. And there's a few, so some of these the white player markers are on a separate bag, probably because they didn't go through paint with the primer. So there's those, and then here's drums as well. And the player colors, the white player colors. The white player drums are in here, the other player drums are in here. So, anyway. Um, odd packing, but I'm sure there's a production reason for that. And then some little cubes. So it seems like everything for the white white player comes in some little bag here and everything else is distributed. And then finally we have some miniatures. Some spaceship miniatures, I believe. Get those out. And obviously have all the player colors. And they are Rockets, some spaceships, they're rockets. So we get them to show over here. Pretty cool. The rocket miniatures. I assume we have a board here. Say that it can be used. You need to show where your rocket is flying around. And that's Look at those, it's like four for each player. No, that can't be right. There's four blue. There are four, five black. I got purp one purple, I got one green, I got a red. Uh, you know what, these may be different types of rockets and those rings, these rings may clip on them to delineate which player they are. But again, that's gonna be the rules. Rabbits. Another blue in here. Another from the board. A lot in this box. Man, it's heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. And apparently, it's a heavy game. So, all right, we have two decks of cards. I guess we're going to rip into those two. Um, they look standard sized. You have a drawstring. Always helpful. They are glossy, glossy stock. Fortunately, they're not linen, which is a nuisance. These are obviously inventions, parts of your your rocket that you would use. We have a bag of these cards. And then, Another deck. Here's how small 
those convention cards, but also have to have some other some other cards here too. Victory point cards of some sort, Father Sky, Heroism. Uh, plant cards maybe? No idea. No idea. Some black ones, some advanced ones. Wow. There's a lot to this game. This is going to be a learning, learning experience for sure. So.